Hello my loyal subscribers and welcome if you are new. My name is Maddie and this is my book nook. So I have another video for you guys. I don't know if you're surprised, you might be because I've actually stuck to my word for once. My gosh, who is this? So I do hope, I really really want to keep posting every Friday so yeah, that was random. Anyways, so welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about popular books I don't, or I won't read because, yeah, we're just going to be talking about that and I'm just going to be talking and giving my reasoning for it and all that good stuff. So, um, I don't really have much of an intro to do, I guess. I really don't remember what my old intro was other than that beginning part, so because I haven't done this in forever. And also, if you didn't watch my last video, I talked about this. So I'm going to just give a quick mention of it. I am now, for right now, going to be using notes on my phone to kind of help me get my points across because I do have all these ideas of my in a way to express my opinions to you guys and then I get on camera and I'm like super awkward. So until I can get out of this mindset or I can find a good editing software for my laptop, I'm going to be using my notes. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So if you see me looking down, just know I'm looking at my phone to read my notes that I wrote before I filmed this. So, anyways, popular books I won't read. So the first one on this list of popular books I won't read is Twilight, which is by, um, my word. I know the author, I can't think of her name right now, but, oh, it's Stephanie Meyer, that's it, okay. I won't read these books because, <laughs> so my friend read Twilight. She liked it because it was trashy romance, and I'm not into that, and I feel like it's just a huge waste of time, and also those things are, like, super thick, especially Midnight Sun, like, no thank you. And oh, I'm not into that kind of thing, like, and I've heard Bella's, like, a super, like, terrible, like, main protagonist character person, so, yeah, and it's just, like, it's a huge waste of time, in my opinion, just because I've already heard so many bad things about it, and it's good when you're, like, young. But, like, I don't have the mindset, really, of a young person. I feel like I'm more, like, the mindset of, like, a 40-year-old woman, I think. So, like, I'm not gonna be into it. I'll just read it and be like, what is this crap? Like, no hate to the author, just my opinion. I And no shade to any per people who totally, like, love Twilight. It's just my opinion, and I'm just one person. Also, this isn't, I should preface this before, but, like, or address this, excuse my weird vocabulary anyways, I don't know if I'm using words correctly, I just say fake words sometimes to make me sound smarter, so, yeah. Anyways, but, mm, if you hear that music, I'm very sorry, people do not know how to be quiet, I told them I would be filming, I hope this isn't an occurrence in every video, if it is, I'm very sorry, I'm just gonna have to try to film when people are home, but anyways, so. I forgot what I was saying. Great. Anyways, but like, um, okay, I remember. So, um, I'm going to be talking about these books that I won't read just because I've heard bad things about them or they just do not interest me in the slightest. This doesn't, this isn't any hate to the author or people who like these books. This is just my, these are just my opinions and it just goes along with my tastes and everyone's different and has their own tastes and opinions. So, just wanted to let you guys know that. So, I already did Twilight, and now we have Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Mm, I'm not super, in, I mean, I want to get into fantasy. I want to read A Court of Thorns and Roses by her. I That'll probably be the only one that I read, unless she comes out with something else that seems interesting. I won't read Throne of Glass or um, Crescent City or House of Earth and Blood by her. Just because, one, Crescent City is humongous, and I've heard the world that it built... The world building is just a lot, and that's, like, too much for me, because I want to get into fantasy, but, like, I feel like that book would scare me, and then I wouldn't want to read any more fantasy ever again, so. And then Throne of Glass, I've heard it's good for, like, the first two or three books, and then from there on it just gets, like, kind of, eh, like, it's not the same. And also there's, like, I believe, like, anywhere from seven to ten books, and, like, I really like one and done, or, like, duologies or trilogies, 
at the like three books at the most because I don't like being tied down to one specific thing because then my TBR starts building up and I'm like I want to read all these other books so yeah that is why I won't read Throne of Glass or Crescent City well not the series part but Crescent City is just like yeah. next we have Anything by Cassandra Clare and this is because one they don't sound interesting to me like I've heard that people like the romance and I think it's the Infernal Devices series I think <laughs> I can hear my mom yelling at my brothers telling them to be quiet because I'm trying to film this video so sorry but um uh, Infernal Devices okay so Cassandra Clare books there's so many of them and I feel like if I read like one series or trilogy I would feel obligated to read all of them and they're not small books either they're like this thick and I don't read thick books <laughs> like not super big the biggest I'll read is probably like a 500 page book anything beyond that is like um no so that is why and like I just it was really popular when I was in middle school and now I'm like mm, and she's still pumping out more books and the thing is like when is it gonna end like I'm not I, I don't have I wouldn't wait around for those <laughs> like I would get distracted by other books and probably have like a seven year span between when I read this one and then the next one because I would get distracted and want to read other things so yeah I really just like one and done really like yeah next we have Shadow Me by Tahara Mafi I, I hope I said her name right it's kind of a struggle for me because I'm like I don't know sorry anyways i actually owned the first three books shatter me unravel me and ignite me and because i thought i was gonna like them and i started reading shatter me and i just i feel like it would have been good if i just i don't know maybe it was at the time i was a little bit younger then so like i just wasn't super into that kind of style and also i don't know it just didn't really vibe with me like it didn't i don't know it just it's just kind of bland. I gave them to my friend, and she really enjoyed them. So, I mean, at least they went to good use. So, and last we have *The Cruel Prince* by Holly Black. I think my friend—I can't even remember. There was she read some book with prince in the title. I think it was *The Cruel Prince*. I'm not sure, and she didn't like it. And I've heard. So, like, people are kind of divided on this, like, there are people who absolutely love it, and there are people who, like, cannot, like, no, they don't like it. And I feel like it's just a toss-up, and it's also, like, a three or three or four book series, and, like, you know, the one and done is kind of, like, my, the way my mind works when it comes to reading, so, like, you know, and I think it's, like, fantasy-ish, and I'm not... I want to get into fantasy, so I'm going to try Core Thrones and Roses first, and then see from there if I want to continue with that trilogy, see if I want to read some other fantasies, you know, that kind of thing. So, anyways, that was the last book on my list. It's not a super long list, because I couldn't think of anything, because I mostly do read popular books. So, yeah. Anyways, this is probably a super short video, and I'm sorry if you were looking for, like, a long video of me talking about something. You probably aren't, because I just ramble forever about like nonsense so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a like if you didn't i mean you can give it a like if you want to give it a dislike i don't care really it's fine and um if you'd like to see more of me you can click the red subscribe button down below if you haven't done that if you want to see more of me and if you do click that there's gonna be a bell button and you can click on that so i'll know whenever i post a new video so you can watch it right when it comes, gets posted and i'll like your comment or read your comment or respond to your comment depends on what your comment is so um yeah that's it i'm trying to figure out what my out i had a, a perfectly set intro and outro in my videos and then i got into like a two month break from youtube and i don't remember any of it really except for the first part of my intro but anyways also um if you want to follow me on instagram you can follow me at maddie booknook or you can add, add, follow me on Goodreads, be my friend on Goodreads. It's, my name is Maddie's Book Nook. So, um, that's it for this video. I hope it wasn't super boring or you're disappointed because it's probably super duper short. But, um, yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, and I do think next week's video is going to be much more entertaining, I think. I have a, I'm a very organized person, like, I just have the lists of everything, like, that I'm posting, I'm, like, the best YouTuber ever, oh my gosh, I'm just not, I'm just kidding, I'm just somewhat organized, like, yeah, it should be a pretty fun video next week, like, or much more enjoyable than this one, I think, um, if all goes well, because I have a planned planner of all the videos I'm posting this month, December, and a little bit of January too. Because I have to make sure my videos all fit because I'm a very particular person. So anyways, that was a huge ramble there for absolutely no reason. So if you enjoyed this video, do whatever I said previously if you want. If you don't, it's fine too. I mean anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will hopefully see you all in the next one. Bye!